guys welcome back today we'll be turning ourselves into a zombie i already did my eyebrows off camera and i'm taking some of this cotton and i'm pulling it apart i'm just pulling it apart to make it thinner like that then i'm taking my mayron liquid latex and i'm adding that onto my cheeks in the shape of a circle Taking the piece of cotton that we spread it apart, I'm adding that right on top of that thin layer of latex we added onto our cheek. And then with my finger, I added some more liquid latex um, on the edges of the cotton. Um, I did feel as if I needed something to flatten down the edges a little better, so I took a back of the scissors and I started flattening it down. It worked, but then I just realized I had a makeup spatula, so instead of messing up my scissors, I went ahead with the spatula. And just go ahead and cover up all of this cotton on the edges and smooth out the edges as much as possible. And then go ahead and fill in the rest with liquid latex. What I like about using cotton instead of the toilet paper for this process is that you're able to tear away the pieces so it looks like something ripped out of it, like as if you got bit or something and it was torn off. I like how it creates this effect. I want to add more wounds to my face so I'm going in on my forehead with a little bit more liquid latex and I'll also do another one right here on the side of my face. And then I'll go in with a little bit more of the cotton and add that right on top of the wound that I want to put on my forehead. Apply a little bit more liquid latex on top and I'll go ahead and even out the edges. Once I even out the edges, I'll go ahead and cut it. Unfortunately, I pulled too much off when I cut it. So I just went ahead and layered some more liquid latex, not any more um, cotton and let it dry. Then I took a sheet of toilet paper, split it into two, and cut it up into four pieces. Once I did that, I went ahead and laid some liquid latex over my mouth, put one of the thin sheets of toilet paper over my mouth, and then covered it with some liquid latex. Once I did that, I laid some more liquid latex right on top of that. And once I got to like the mouth area, because it's thin, it'll start to break open, I just kind of like blended it in on my lips. Now I want to put a wound on my neck. I'm going to add a thin layer of liquid latex on my neck. And I realized that the toilet paper was too small here, so I went ahead and cut it into a circle. I later realized that I should have tore it off the edges instead of cut it because it's easier to blend this way, but I didn't know and I found out afterwards. But this worked okay. It wasn't so bad. But I just filled the whole thing up with liquid latex and blended out the edges. I'm going to let this dry and I'll be back. Alright y'all, now that we're completely dried down, I'm going to go ahead and start tearing the latex. I'm tearing the latex around my mouth a little bit. I want it to look like my mouth was eaten up a little bit. So I'm just going to pull it, tear it. Um, when you pull on the latex a little bit and you tear some off, it gives you some nice edges like that. And then I'll go in with some small scissors and uh, cut a little hole under there and start cutting the hole for the wounds that I have on my forehead and on my temple. Here I'm doing a step too early. I added concealer on before I set my prosthetics so I didn't realize why my prosthetic was sticking to each other and the I was losing the string effect to it. Um, what I had to do was set my prosthetic with a translucent setting powder and this is so that the setting um the prosthetic isn't sticky and it's easier to work with and apply on your base as well once i've set the prosthetic i'll go ahead and cover it with some concealer so i can add some foundation on top of it to further blend this prosthetic into my skin and then i'll repeat the same steps for my neck then I'm taking my Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Wear Foundation in the shade Bamboo and I'm covering up all of my prosthetics that I made. Then with some Snazaroo face paint, I'm using the yellow and I'm stippling this onto my skin. This is going to help give that dead look.
I'm gonna go in with the green from this palette I'm gonna spray my brush down with a little bit of water so that it's not too watery and it's the perfect texture to blend out and with a beauty sponge that already has some concealer on it I'm mixing some of the white in it and it's giving me this pale skin vibe and that's what I was looking for and I'm gonna add this all over my face and start building up this color I wanted to start adding depth to this look so I mixed my foundation in this Nazaru black paint and I'm stippling this on my temples and down the bridge of my nose. Then I'll go and mix the red and the black and sink in my eyes. This gave it like a purpley look so it made it look dead so it made it look even better. But I'll go ahead and keep building up these shades getting it all together. I really like using these face paints. It was a lot easier to use um, than the creams, but now that I kind of know how to use the creams, I want to see um, what I can do and how they work. So um, I'm really interested in that now. But what I'm going to do is take this red and black and start adding some vein like strokes. And then I'll go over it with um, some more of my um, concealer and the white and start adding it over. But what I started doing was taking my finger and blending out some of these um, harsher uh, vein-like strokes I made. Now I'm going to stipple the yellow and green in the areas where I want it to look rotten. To deepen this up a little more, I added some black to that mixture of yellow and green and got this green. So I'll go ahead and stipple this in some areas and go between the colors of this deep green and the mixture of just the light green and yellow and just give it some dimension, you know? Now I'm just taking some sage blood and I'm adding that in the wound. I wanted it to be a little darker so I mixed it with some of my black Nazaru face paint. Don't worry about me y'all, I'm always spilling something, I am so clumsy. But I'm just going to stipple this on my wounds, the one on my chin, um, I'll start doing the one on my forehead and then in my mouth as well. Here I'm taking some sage blood, I mixed it with some of that snazaru paint and I'm kind of making the inside as dark as possible, taking the sponge and blending out the edges of the blood just so that it all looks all ripped up. I want it to look all ripped up and like gory. Now I'm going to repeat the same process in the wound on my neck, but I am going to fill this wound up with some more stage blood and snazaroo face paint so I can get that one little slow drip right there. I'm going to wipe away the other one, but it kind of smeared and flowed with it so I kept it there. But then I started going in with some scab blood and creating some dimension inside of the wound on my face. I love using the scab blood. It makes everything look so realistic. I think if you put scab blood on anything, it's perfect. You got the perfect wound with scab blood. <laughs> And then I'm going to go back in with some more of the black and um, red and bruise up my under eyes a little more. Alright guys, and this is the completed look. I like it so much, y'all. I am such a gore fan. I love gory stuff like this, and I'm so happy with how everything turned out. I'm really surprised that I got these smooth edges, y'all. To be real, I do not know anything about 
um, special effects makeup. You know, I'll go ahead and look up a little video real quick to see how to do it or whatever. But really, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I do go on YouTube. I always go on YouTube to figure out how I am going to do it because I don't know what I'm technically doing. And I don't have anyone to teach me, so the only place that will teach me is YouTube. If you guys did like this look, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought down below. Also, let me know some Halloween ideas or Halloween looks that you guys like me to do. Um, I did get a suggestion for more gory, so I hope this is nice and gory for you guys. Everything that I used here, we you can get this at Michael's. You can get this little thing at Michael's. Um, if you're down here in Hollywood, Florida, the makeup club, you can get pretty much anything of this stuff at the makeup club. Even, I would suggest that you use um, cream paints for this because um, with the water activated paints, it got dried up so it was a little bit harder to blend. So my little beauty blender came in handy with that. If you guys would like to see more videos from me, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I upload videos every Monday. Also follow me on all my social media. I have Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. It's all at Santina Marie. And thank you all so much for tuning in. You guys have a blessed day. Bye guys.